What do you want audiences to feel when they see the film? I want them to feel inspired um, in the way that the way that it ends, and I'm not going to spoil anything, but I want women to feel inspired, to take action, to love themselves, to be confident, confident enough to speak their minds, and to stand in a place where they feel they belong in this world instead of feeling crushed and uh, objects. Um, and I just hope to empower women and open minds. Um, I think this is a very complicated story um, and just like we we're talking about with his character he does it for a reason and just like we have you know in this country people have their own reasons and I think if we are o to open our minds and really understand each other and come to an understanding and realize that we're all human beings and we are equal um, that you can affect change and that we're all hmm. meaning uh, we're, we're all worthy of existing and yeah. of uh, being independent uh, strong people so I guess that's my. I guess the the, yeah. the, 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 the the title of the movie is Rise, Rise Up, you know, Rise to the Occasion, you know, Step Up. Mm -hmm. And uh, and as she was saying, and as I told you yesterday as well, you know, we're living in a society where unfortunately we don't care enough for our women and ladies. They're the ones giving birth to, to the entire population, but we still find a way to justify uh, mistreating women still. So, so yeah, I think this is one of those projects that can potentially help inspiring some of those women to rise up and maybe some of the men to, to chill out and, and understand and connect a bit more with, uh, with the women. This is something that's clearly personal to you. We, we spoke about it last night and speaking about it with you right now. Was it always so important to you or did, did participating in this film um, help to I increase that passion for you? Well, I, I've always had uh, lots of respect for, for women. And uh, I think I'm a father, so I know what women go through to give birth. You know, I'm in the room. I'm delivering with, you know, with my wife, you know. So if you, if you do that, you have to look at ladies differently. You have to think that each lady could be your mother, could be your wife, could be your children. So with that in mind, automatically you want the respect to be there, to be there for all ladies all the time. So yes, of course, that spoke to me when I, when I read the, the script and, and, and I realized that, yeah, it was actually a, a woman's story, you know. Uh, uh, um, I'm just, you know, I'm just there to help, you know, the woman cause pretty much. But yes, I'm definitely all up for that, and uh, and I see some changes as, as well. You know, I see that things are changing. You know, women are stepping up. I just came back from the NAACP image, NAACP image awards, and uh, the five entertainers of the year this year were all women. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. The five of them. You know, the five of them, it was Viola Davis and uh, okay. Angela Bassett. Yeah. I mean, hey, yeah. we got one! <laughs> exactly. So, so that means, you know, there, there, is, uh, there, is, there is a lot of, uh, there is some, some improvement, but not enough, obviously. Hmm. Uh, thank you for using our first swear word. Uh, proceeds to the, <laughs> to the swear jar. I thought it was my second. They <laughs> will go to, the, uh, to support the Mammoth Film <laughs> Institute and help up-and-coming filmmakers. That being said, what is your favorite swear words? Fuck has <laughs> the most <laughs> impact. So, that's my favorite. Anybody else? Anybody else want to donate? Fuck yes, I think I, I did. Uh, <laughs> Putain de merde. Ooh, and in another put language. Salope. No. <laughs> Foreign language is qualified, yeah? Yes, oh yes. Okay, great. <laughs> oh. No.